This is the first time that I've noticed as a licensed cosmetologist in 22 years that there's really like no trend. It doesn't matter what you wear today, whatever is convenient for you, whether it's a wig or weave, cornrows or afro, natural or ball, but still basic hair care is necessary to take care of the hair as well as the scalp. So whatever style that you choose to wear does look good on you. What is basic hair care? Basic hair care is basically relaxers when needed, weekly visits of shampoo and roller sets or wraps, deep conditioners, hair growth treatments, dandruff treatments, rinses, colors, and cuts. Who need basic hair care? Everybody needs it. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a wig or weave, braids or cornrow, we all need basic hair care. When it comes to basic hair care, I like to first have a consultation with my clients. I like for them to come in and I will sit them down and figure out what are their basic needs. It does matter if they do water aerobics or if they jog or if they sweat a lot or on medication. They need to be realistic about basic hair care versus styles. Once I understand that my client needs basic hair care, I recommend a very good shampoo. A, a shampoo that invigorates the scalp and removes all sweat, grease, and grime from the hair. Then next, there's conditioning. There's protein conditioning, and then there's also moisturizing conditioning. The protein conditioner is to strengthen the hair and then the moisturizer conditioner is to moisturize the hair after it's been strengthened. At most, with the deep conditioning on the protein conditioner, I will allow the client to sit 15 minutes under the dryer so for good penetration. Then rinsing the hair, we go into the moisturizer conditioner, and then after that's done, there is also a leave-in conditioner. Then we decide, as far as less tension on the hair as possible, especially if the hair is damaged, whether we should do a roller set or a wrap. Once we decide on the roller set or a wrap, then we will take the client to the dryer, and this is the only type of heat that is applied on the hair for someone who has basically damaged and fine, fragile hair. That's indirect heat. Direct heat would be the curling iron, or the blow dryer. We would stay away from the curling iron or the blow dryer if the client's hair is damaged. When it comes to basic hair care, products are important. You have your non-professional products and your professional products. Such products, as far as professional is concerned, for some examples, there's Mazzani, Dudley, Affirm, and the all new Ojuku products. Shampoo, conditioner, setting lotion, and hairdress. There are normally five steps to a professional product counting the relaxer. It is always best to use all five parts of the relaxer system. Whether you're aware of it or not, most relaxers consist of five or more steps. Uh, after the relaxer, I um, shampoo her hair, and this is to cover her gray. This is a temporary rinse to cover gray. So is that This is the color, and it's it sits on the hair for about a couple of minutes. Complete coverage and even tone. Hair care. 
uh, temporary color is milder on the hair because it causes less damage than permanent color. So, you know, if she just trying to cover gray, it would be safer for her to get a temporary color versus getting a permanent color, which is more damaging on hair because she already has a perm. Um, perm is a permanent different. color means damage. I got it. Thank you. Go ahead. Go. Ojuku product is a professional product. It consists of five steps. The relaxer, the neutralizing shampoo, the conditioner, the uh, setting lotion, and the hairdress. The Ojuku product is really a specialized product for damaged hair. It specializes in hair growth. Uh, all five steps are consist of conditioners. Uh, so there's conditioner in the relaxer, conditioners in the shampoo, conditioner itself, and the setting lotion and the hairdress. When it comes to basic hair care, everybody needs it. It doesn't matter if you just had surgery or if you're on medication or if uh, you got a bad braid job. Regular visits to the salon is gonna be the answer to your problem in restoring and repairing your hair. If you're wearing braids, cornrows, or uh, infusion, bonding, weaving, after so many weeks, your hair will need some hair care maintenance. It's just no way around it. Uh, long, using, uh, wearing weaves or braids for long periods of time without basic hair care will cause this damage to your hair. Even if you're wearing a wig, on a weekly basis, you would need to shampoo and condition and trim the ends on your hair. When it comes to shampoo, there are three different types of shampoo. There's a medicated shampoo, a deep cleanser, and then there's the normal shampoo. Medicated shampoo, or use it for someone who has um, dandruff problems, or someone who has psoriasis uh, um, around the hairline, or all through the hair, and this medication will go in there. You usually have to let the shampoo sit a little while so that it can penetrate and you can't really get rid of dandruff but you can keep it under control. The deep cleansing shampoo removes all of the buildup on the hair uh, because it's concentrated and designed to do that. You only need to um, work up a real good lather and um, shampoo that out and it will, that one application will remove all of the buildup and sweat and dirt out of the hair uh, too many deep cleansing shampoos will dry the hair out, so one application will do. But the normal shampoo uh, is for chemically treated hair. Uh, you may have to use that one or two times to get the thorough cleansing, but um, it is used on all types of hair. When it comes down to relaxing the hair, it's very important that you understand what type of relaxer to use on the hair. It does matter if you have color or not. It does matter if you're on medication or not. Some people may not could use a regular relaxer, but could use a no-lie relaxer. You have to understand what type of relaxer that's good for your type of hair. The only way you can know that is to speak with a licensed cosmetologist that specializes in hair growth treatments or basic hair care to determine according to your hair or your scalp what type of relaxer that is good for your type hair. Then they're shampooing the hair after a relaxer. It is always important to shampoo the hair at least three times after a relaxer to make sure all of the relaxer is free from the hair. Then there is conditioning the hair. There are two types of conditioners that should be used on the hair after relaxing the hair. One is a protein conditioner to strengthen the hair after it has been relaxed and taken from its regular pH balance. Then after shampooing the hair with the protein conditioner, then there's the moisturizing conditioner to soften the hair after it's been strengthened. Always you should set the hair with the setting lotion after relaxing, shampooing the hair. 
The setting lotion has conditioners in it and it goes into the hair to help soften the hair and leave your hair nice and shiny. Then the basic roller set or wrap when the hair dries and you're getting ready to either comb it out, you should always use a hairdress. What is a hairdress? is either all, not all sheen, but a creamy hairdress that goes on the scalp. Because after all of that relaxing and washing, the hair is very, very dry in the scalp too. And your hair will break if you don't have some type of hairdress on the hair after getting a fresh relaxer for at least a couple of days. Being that uh, there's your professional product and your non-professional product. The uh, professional products are always um, rich in ingredients starting from, for example, like a permanent cream relaxer system, which consists of the relaxer, the shampoo, the conditioner, the hairdress, and the setting lotion. Each and every step has conditioners in it, so you're conditioning the hair the entire time. Consumer's shampoo um, versus the professional um, shampoo, um, it's kind of watered down and it, it doesn't have that much conditioner in it, so it has a tendency to leave your hair dry and straw-like. So it's always best to, if you can afford it, to use a professional shampoo and conditioner or relaxer. This is the first time that I've noticed as a licensed cosmetologist in 22 years that there's really like no trend. It doesn't matter what you wear today, whatever is convenient for you, whether it's a wig or weave, cornrows or afro, natural or ball, but still basic hair care is necessary to take care of the hair as well as the scalp. So whatever style that you choose to wear does look good on you. Ah!